after our awesome stay at Chobe Resort, going to Matrison Waterfalls, going on a chimpanzee trek and a rhino trek, we then settled in Kampala at the Moyoyo Resort. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Visayo and I'm a tourism development advocate. I tell stories promoting the destinations I visit, inviting you to my world of travel, and giving you insight on what needs to be improved in some African destinations so that Africa can position itself to be the number one tourist destination in the world. Enjoy this video. We've seen the state minister of tourism. I saw him yesterday night for a cocktail. To, today, the federal minister, the overall, the ministry of tourism, just literally came in. You will see a clip of that now. Anyways, so enjoy. Stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. Don't go nowhere. See you soon. Cheers. So the one ended beautifully well. You should go read out my blog post on thebeside.com or click the link in the description to see, you know, a brother write up on my experience at the expo and from the investment or tourism perspective, if you're interested in oh, that. Oh, so you guys, today's day two of the Pearl of Africa Expo. So... <laughs> anyway guys, so whatever happens today, I'm going to show you guys. Day 2 focused on my interview with the President of the African Tourism Board as well as the CEO of Uganda Tourism Board. Here is a little clip of both interviews. Hi everyone, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time it is from wherever you're watching from. I am the Fisayo and I'm here with the CEO of the Uganda Tourism Board. How are you doing, Ma? I'm very well. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So I've been here since um, 26th of January. So this is the, the, the 4th or 5th Today actually. is the 5th of February. Yes, which is the second day of the Pearl of Africa Travel Expo. Well done being the fifth edition. How was the first, second, third, and fourth edition? Well, each and every one of the African Tourism Expo has been uh, a success, mm -hmm. and we have been building on each edition success to this point. Mm -hmm. We started very small and it has been growing uh, each year. And this year we see more numbers in terms of the hosted buyers and media that we invited internationally to come in and be part of this, but also the numbers of exhibitors and the general response of everyone being part of Pearl of Africa Tourism Expo 2020. Do you mind sharing what numbers were last year and numbers this year? Uh, we haven't yet finished yet okay. with the expo. Mm -hmm. Here we are into the second day of uh, the Pearl of Africa Tourism Expo 2020. Uh, but from um, what we have had with the 
posted barriers and media mm -hmm. in the previous properties we have had an average of 20 okay. and this year we have had over 60 so that is a, that's a big growth we have had between the fourth and the the fifth edition of uh, of the expo mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of the general public the consumers yeah. we have uh, from the lessons we learned we have done this a bit differently also in that uh, the previous editions we had business to consumer every single day of the expo and this year we have done two days for business to business okay. strictly yeah. and then it is only the one day that we will have for uh, business to consumer. consumer. I went for a conservation conference yesterday and he kept on talking about water bottles should not be used. Mm -hmm. So what are things that, what are the policies? And no, no politician was in the room. Nobody mm -hmm. that could make a decision in the government was in the room. So now that, that I'm, I'm sure you must have heard about it. Yeah. So what are the policies you want to put in place? What do you think? Well, already the government of Uganda is working towards uh, managing especially the plastic usage. So we already have a ban on certain plastic that are of certain micros that okay. have been banned. You know, those micros are like very small micros that okay. are single-use plastics. Okay. So that has already, there's a ban over that. Um, that is that is ongoing, and uh, hopefully in future, you know, with a lot of education and awareness being done, mm -hmm. uh, we should be in a better position with our waste management. All right. So while on the farm trip, I did a lot of adventure. <laughs> now I say this in terms of a lot of routes from a point A to point B can be two hours. But I went to Kidepo and I used um, an, um, an air strip to go there, right? Well, other destinations were through the road, which was really long. Is there a way we can reduce the road time, or is this part of what you want people to exp uh, explore? Uh, we would uh, would like to give options. Okay. You know, for for our visitors, the tourists, you know to have the options to choose what they have to do because Uganda is such a beautiful country. Mm -hmm. The landscape varies. If you go to Eastern Uganda, Western Uganda, the Central, it's all so different. Alex Etange from the Seychelles. Yes, for those who are watching and do not know him, he is the former Minister of Tourism in Seychelles. I saw you speaking today at the conference, so tell us more about what you said. My, my mission to, to Uganda this time has been to be at the opening ceremony where I delivered a message on behalf of the African Tourism Board, of which I'm its president, the current president, and then to participate in an airline and connectivity panel discussion, which was done today. Yeah. So in terms of being the president of the African Tourism Board, would you like to expand more on the impact that has made in terms of visa-free connectivity within Africa? I think the African Tourism Board conceived recently enough to bring the African tourism countries, though that are looking at tourism as a major source of income for the benefit of the economy of their own respective countries, but also for the people to benefit, to bring together these tourism boards. What are we trying to achieve is to increase the number of visitors that looks at Africa. Today it sits at 6% of mm -hmm. world tourism that comes to Africa, which is nothing. So we need to be able to gather, gather together more of the unique selling points of Africa, yeah. and then tell the world. So the African Tourism Board is a machine available for Africa to tell the world that together Africa is ready to receive people, to tell the world that we will work to look at the challenges of Africa, of challenges of Africa in aviation as well as in tourism, so that we can iron out these challenges mm -hmm. and help Africa secure a better percentage of the world travelers. After a day we all spent at the expo, we then went to the cultural center to experience and actually indulge in the Uganda culture. Then clean this abara again very well and that is the cup for drinking. And I mean the real drink, not water. I mean the other one when you take before you know you are very, very... <laughs> You can see me beating the drums, we dance with the cultural dancers, we ate 
like a local and it was a wonderful experience it's something i definitely recommend for everyone visiting uganda now day three ended and i was so sad to leave to think that i'll be leaving the next day made me so sad nonetheless i bought some souvenirs we had a goodbye dinner as well with the tourism board and that my brothers and sisters ended my stay in Uganda. Now let me know what you think of this video, what was your highlight in the full series of the Uganda video. Now if you're new to this, please make sure you go watch my previous videos on you know, my experience in Uganda so far and like I always say, if you're interested in booking any of these destinations, click the link in the description, one, or go read my articles where I write extensively about my stay if you want to know the prices and every other thing that i express in, in terms of transportation you know culture shock and all of that all right guys so now it concludes my stay here in uganda and the expo just finished if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time till next time don't forget to stay awesome stay inspired